The overall goal of this procedure is to successfully use the Infinium assay in order to process a genotyping bead chip. This is accomplished by first amplifying, fragmenting, and isolating the DNA. The second step is to hybridize the denatured DNA strand to oligonucleotides attached to beads on the array. Next, the oligonucleotide attached to the bead is stained and selectively extended by one base. The final step is to scan the bead chips to detect the labeled nucleotide. Ultimately, the genotype results are used to determine the alleles present at the site of interest. Visual demonstration of this method is critical because many of the steps for staining and loading the bead chips are difficult to learn. Many of the maneuvers are not found in other genotyping methods, and many of the equipment share very similar sounding names. One day prior to amplification, prepare the DNA. Dispense 200 nanograms of DNA per well into a deep well 96 sample plate. At least 96 samples must be plated to ensure no reagent will be wasted. Label the plate with a barcode sticker supplied by the kit and centrifuge it. In order to normalize the volumes, leave the samples in a drawer or fume hood overnight to evaporate the liquid. Cover the plate loosely with a lid or paper towel to keep out dust. On the following morning, check that the wells are dry. Use a reagent basin and a 10 microliter 8-channel pipette to dispense 4 microliters of DNA resuspension buffer into each well to rehydrate the samples. If care is taken